Hello, reading friends, it's Ani. Have you ever had trouble pronouncing any of your letter sounds? Well, today we're going to read about a little rat named Rodney who had a hard time with his R's. Now, some of the other rodents in his class teased him about it, but when a bully moved into their class, Rodney did something that made the others gain a new appreciation for him. Let's find out what it was together as we read Away for Wadney Watt. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Away for Wadney Watt. Written by Helen Lester. Illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Poor Wadney. Wadney Watt. His real name was Rodney Rat, but he couldn't pronounce his R's. To make matters worse, he was a rodent. A wodent. Do you see all the books on Rodney's bed? They're all about learning to speak clearly. He's trying very hard to learn to pronounce his R's. What's your name, Wadney? asked the other rodents. Wadney Watt, whispered Wadney. What's another name for Bunny? They asked knowingly. Wabbit, he mumbled. And how does a train travel? They winked at each other. A twain travels on twain twacks, Wadney replied miserably. <laughs> All of this teasing day in and day out made Wadney the shyest rodent in his elementary school. His squeak could barely be heard in class. He gnawed lunch alone. And while the other rodents scurried and scooted about at recess, Wadney hid inside his jacket. Then one day as the rodents were taking turns doing wheelies, a new rodent... A very large rodent barged into the classroom and announced, My name is Camilla Capybara. I'm bigger than any of you, I'm meaner than any of you, and I'm smarter than any of you. Then she added, So there. With that, she accidentally on purpose elbowed an ear, bumped two noses, stepped on three tails, and lay down on a desk. Fur prickled in fear through the classroom. She sure was bigger than any of them. She sure looked meaner than any of them. Was she smarter than any of them? What's two plus two? asked Mrs. Fuzzleworth. Four! shouted Camilla Capybara without even bothering to raise her paw. And furthermore, four plus four is eight! Later, when Mrs. Fuzzleworth asked, What's the capital of? Camilla interrupted, New York, Albany, population 295,594. And during science, in answer to the question, What part of a plant is below the ground? Camilla Capybara danced on her desk and sang, Root, root, rooty toot toot. Yup, thought all the other rodents. She's smarter than we are, too. They felt very, very uncomfortable. Every afternoon, just before the final recess, Mrs. Fuzzleworth drew a name from her hat to see who would be the leader for their favorite game, Simon Says. She scrunched her eyes closed and jiggled the hat. Would it be Harry Hamster, Minnie Feet Mouse, Grizzle Fritz Guinea Pig? Could it be big, mean, smart Camilla Capybara? Mrs. Fuzzleworth's paw reached in and pulled out the name of Wadney Watt. The bell rang. There was a wild scurry for the door, and Camilla Capybara was the first on the playground, having trampled the others in her path. To Wadney, she looked especially scary. What would she do when she heard him speak? Breathe capybara breath in his face? 
or tie him up in his own tail, or even pounce on him. The tiny, trembling leader of the game stood before the eager players, his head well inside his jacket, and squeaked, What he says, we the sign. While the other rodents read, PS 142 Elementary School for Rodents. Camilla began pulling up weeds around the sign and wildly flinging them hither and yon till she was clear up to her teeth in dirt. The other rodents began to smile. Watney says wrap your paws around your head. He peeked a little peek out of his jacket and saw, Whap! Whap! Whappity slappity whap! Camilla was whapping her paws around her head so hard she became dizzy, gave herself a headache, and had to sit down. The other rodents couldn't help giggling. <laughs> Wadney says play wing around a woozy. Camilla put out her arms like wings and made an airplane noise. <laughs> but where was the woozy? What was a woozy? By now, Wadney's voice was stronger and his head was entirely out of his jacket. Wake the leaves. Nobody moved. Wadney says, wake the leaves. While Harry, Minnie Feet, and Grizzle Fritz and the others busied themselves raking, Camilla Capybara grabbed one leaf. Wake up! she yelled. She snatched another. Come on, you! Up, up, up! And another. Rise and shine! And another. Boo! By now, all the other rodents were squealing with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> all but Camilla, who frowned. Stupid leaves! They won't wake up! And why was everyone laughing at her? Such Bullies! In a voice so strong he had to hold his own ears, Wadney called, Wadney says go west! The rodents collapsed in a happy heap for a rest. Go west! Camilla Capybara, feeling very smart that she could tell directions by the sun, said, All right! I shall go west! And then she added, So there! West she stomped. Forever. She was gone. And from that day on, the pupils of P.S. 142 Elementary School for Rodents never teased Wadney again. He was their hero. Hooray for Wadney Watt! They cried. Woot, woot, woody toot, toot! Was it okay for the other rodents in his class to make fun of Rodney? It wasn't okay, was it? Because it hurt his feelings. But they came to appreciate Rodney's differences when he made Camilla the bully go away. Isn't it nice that we're all different and unique? I think it makes the world a much more colorful and interesting place. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I sure did enjoy reading to you. See you next time. Subscribe for more story time and don't forget to click the bell so you'll know each week when a new video is posted.